a minute. You're not a werewolf. I hope not. This is just a costume. But what are you doing out here howling at the moon? Practicing. I wanted to go trick-or-treating as a wolf this year. Ow! Oh, what a fright you gave us. Well, if he's not the werewolf, we need to keep searching. Excuse me. What time is it? It's time for lunch. 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 It's lunch time. Hey, what's for lunch? I got a burger and french fries. What did you get, Zuli? I got a banana and french toast. What did you get, Gil? I got an apple and... French ghost? Le <laughs> French ghost? That's silly and spooky. Look, Mr. Grumpfish! A totally real ghost! Hmm, good puppy. All right, see you later. Mr. Grumpfish, didn't you like our haunted house? Weren't you scared? Ooh. Not really. Thanks anyway. Mr. Grumpfish! What is it? It was... it was... something right over there. I don't see anything. It was orange. And mean. And it, it looked so... grumpy. Mr. Grumpfish, that was your reflection in the mirror. You scared yourself. <laughs> it's me. <laughs> That's my reflection. <laughs> In the mirror. <laughs> I scared myself. Halloween made me grumpy. Now I see it's pretty sweet. Quick, help me with my costume. I can't wait to hit the street. Trick or treat, trick or treat. Give me something good to eat. Everybody's out and I'm so excited. Trick or treat, trick or treat. Ghosts and goblins in the street. Halloween is here and you're all invited. Okay, Gilly. Flashlights on three. Ready? One. Two, three! We've got you this time, aliens! <gasps> Whoa! I'm sorry, did you say aliens? Uh-huh. Are you aliens? No, we're not aliens. We're anglerfish. Anglerfish live deep in the ocean, where it's dark all the time. So dark, it's called the Midnight Zone. That's why we have these lights. <gasps> I knew something fishy was going on. Sorry to worry you all. It's just, we've been smelling those donuts all the way down in the Midnight Zone. Oh yeah, so we said, girl, let's swim up to the shallows at night and get some. You came for our donuts? Uh-huh, but the shop closed right when we got there. Oh, yeah. Sorry about that. <sighs> I guess we're gonna have to go back to the Midnight Zone without them. Not so fast! I think we can all use a little midnight snack at the Sleepy Shallow Donut Shop. Don't you think? The Donut Shop is open again! <laughs> Maybe I can hide there. Eek! Welcome to the Monster Motel, sweetie. There's something spooky following me. I need a room to hide in. Spooky? Well, what was it? I don't know, but it makes a really spooky shadow. Well, we have one room left. Hurry, here it comes. Yucks, that is a spooky shadow. 
Let's get out of here! Wait... We need to find the right door. Which door matches the picture on my keys? This one! Right! It's the Jack-O-Lantern! Hurry! Open the door! It's coming! Uh-oh! There are three keys, and only one will open the door! Hurry! It's almost here! These keys all have different shapes. Which key matches the Jack-O-Lantern's mouth? This one! Yeah! Let's try it! It worked! Let's go inside! Shh. I don't hear anything. Maybe it's gone. Ah! 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 Hey, you're not spooky. You're a mouse. Trick or cheese. Trick or cheese? Here you go, honey. Thank you. You're welcome. Is there anything else? Mm-hmm. What is it, little mouse? Boom! Ah! <laughs> Once a year come fall, there's a party on my block. Everybody wears a costume and we totally rock. We totally rock! Astronaut, cowboy, ballerina, or bee. Caveman, old gorilla, or somebody from TV. So come on, everybody, throw those costumes on. Grab your bag and head on out before the candy's all gone. found the spooky jack-o-lantern. Oh, Good job, nice spooky yeah. jack-o-lantern. And now, the haunted house party can begin! Wearing a black dress and pointy black hat, she's Molly the Witch! Goby, I really saw the ghost again! Oh, oh, hi. Hi. Oh, Next, yeah. on the black catwalk... The ghosts are just pretend. But I saw one. It's here in the haunted house. Nani the Vampire! Yeah. Oh, right. Gil, there's no such thing as ghosts. Then what's that? <gasps> I think I know who that ghost is. Do you know who's under the sheet? Who is it? Bubble Puppy? Bubble Puppy? Bubble 
Puppy. He was the ghost all along? He was just pretending to be a ghost. For our final round, our contenders must put on a jacket that has buttons and zippers. <gasps> buttons and zippers? You can do it, Molly. And there's the bell. Whoever wins this round will be the dress-up champion. I need your help. Which jacket has buttons and zippers? This one? Or this one? This one, right. And Michelle has already buttoned all of her buttons. But so has Molly. Good golly, look at Molly. All she's got to do is zip that zipper. Come on, Molly! They're both working on their zippers and... Uh-oh! It looks like Michelle's zipper is stuck. The tension is mounting. She's almost there. Both competitors are down. And Molly's all zipped! Yeah! Good job, Molly! Fabulous! Tonight's new champion is... Molly! That's it! That is it! That's the look I've been searching for. It's new, it's different, it's... Darling, you're it! You're going to be on the cover of Dress Up Magazine! A Molly original! Get that controller! Beep! Activate the robo laser beams now! <laughs> <laughs> There's no way you're getting to my hacking controller now. You can do it, Robo Puppy. Activate dance mode. <laughs> Yo, Robo Puppy! All right. Cool. What's he doing? There's moves. There's so. So, you took the words right out of my mouth. <laughs> yeah! Nice oh, moves! No! No! <laughs> no! Great job, Robo Puppy! Oh, Do it, Robo Puppy. Hello. Huh? Excuse me. What time is it? It's, it's time, time for lunch. lunch. What time is it? It's time for lunch. What time is it? It's time for lunch. What time is it? It's time for lunch. It's lunch time. Hey, what's for lunch? I got a tuna sandwich and a cookie. What did you get, Gil? I got a cheese sandwich and some brownie bites. What about you, Zuli? I got a turkey sandwich and some brownie. Light? <laughs> That's silly. It's a light lunch. Sorry to bother you. We're trying to find some mysterious lights. Oh, you mean like those? 
<gasps> They're so close! But what's making them? I can help. Um, what are you doing? Bats use clicking sounds to help them see what's around them in the dark. It's called echolocation. Looks like we've certainly come to the right place. Can you use your echolocation to tell us what's making those lights? You better believe it. <laughs> and I'm gonna need your help. First, I'm going to make some clicking sounds. Now, I listen for them to echo back, so I know what's making the lights. What shape is this? An oval? A circle? Or a rectangle? That one! The oval! Yes! That's an oval! And what shape is this? A circle? Or a rectangle? That one! The rectangle! That's right! It's a rectangle! And here's the circle! It goes here! Thanks for your help! <laughs> the lights are coming from this! I knew it! Alien spaceships! See? But aliens aren't real! Something fishy is definitely going on. Well, whatever they are, they're getting away. Ah! After them! What was that? It's coming from over there. Maybe it's Pinkfoot. Everybody, get out your flashlights. Help us find out what's making that sound. Hold your flashlight out like this. Ready? Flashlight on! It's the Crab Scouts! Hi, everybody! Hi, Hi Crab Scouts. Scouts! We thought you were Pinkfoot. Woohoo! That's our favorite spooky campfire story. Sit down, Crab Scouts. Go ahead, Goby. Finish the story. Well, and if you make s'mores on a night like tonight, when the moon is full, then you might get a visit from none other than Pinkfoot. Then what happens? Hey, wait a minute. You're Pinkfoot? Shh! Kobe's not finished with his story. Thank you. And if you give Pinkfoot a s'more, he'll sing a song for you. Is that true? Gracias for the story. Many thanks for the snack Each time you make s'mores I'm sure to come back If you roast your marshmallows By the light of the moon And make s'mores for pink food Then I'll come to you soon I'll come to you soon Someone's at the door. Yes? Uh-oh, that's the giant fly. Hurry, Agor, throw the switch. It's a frog. Come in! <laughs> what did you do that for? <laughs> you were trying to get us. No, I wasn't. I just wanted some pie. <laughs> Is that all? You should have just asked. Oh. May I have some pie, please? Of 
course you can! Woohoo! And so, Dr. Frogenstein and Egor shared their pie with the fly. Ooh, I think the giant frog is hungry too. Yeah, um, I should go. <laughs> Flying saucer! I've got to get my camera. What do you think they want? I don't know. They want to play music with us. Hold your French horns. Uh-oh, we lost our conductor. We can't play together without a conductor. He's a conductor from outer space. Yeah, but where's his baton? Awesome! Did someone say my name? Crikey! Junior, there you are. Wait, you're also not scary. Oh, scary? No, no. I'm his dad. The name's William. William Werewolf Monster. Nice to meet you. I'm Molly, and that's Jill. We're detectives. And this is our partner, Dr. Pupson. Thank you for finding Junior. I've been looking everywhere for him. Well, that solves that mystery. Uh-oh. It's almost a full moon. We've got to get back to town until the mayor Halloween is back on, before it's too late. You're right. Hey, would you like to come to the Halloween parade with us? Oh, oh, oh. We'd love to. We solved the case, Mr. Mayor. It turns out the monster that was scaring everyone wasn't so scary after all. Oh! Oh, William Werewolf Monster. And this is my son, Junior. Nice to meet you. Indeed. Attention, everyone. The Halloween parade is back on. Oh, Woof. This place smells even worse than the village. Yeah. It smells really foul. Thank you. Ah! <laughs> uh, I'm okay. We, we are, are the foul creatures. creatures. And, and you shall go, go no, no further. further. Blah, 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 blah. Please let us pass, foul creatures. We're on our way to get our soap and stuff back from Dirty Dima. We were Dirty, Dirty Dima? She's the one that turned us into foul creatures. <laughs> no offense, but your breath is really... Foul. We know. The only way to get rid of the curse is to clean our teeth. But we forgot how. Because we're so foul. We can help. 
When your teeth are dirty, what do you do to make them clean? Right! You brush your teeth. Which of these things should the foul creatures use to brush their teeth? A toothbrush? A paintbrush? Or a hairbrush? A toothbrush. Right! Now what should they put on the toothbrush to get their teeth clean? Shampoo? Toothpaste? Or soap? Toothpaste. Toothpaste. Right! You only need a pea-sized dot of toothpaste to brush your teeth. Let's brush our teeth and break the curse. It's working! Keep brushing! Hey! You're the Knights of Clean! At your service! How's my breath now? <sighs> Mint tea fresh! If we can get Baby Goo Goo to take a nap, we can stop it! But how? Baby stuff! Great idea, little sister! We need your help! Which of these baby supplies can we use to comfort Baby Goo Goo so it will take a nap? A bib, a rattle, or cuttlefish? Cuttlefish! The fish! Right! We can use cuttlefish to comfort the giant baby, and then it will take a nap. Thanks for your help. Come on, Mia! baby can resist a cuddle with cuttlefish. Not even a robot baby. Oh, no, no, no! Ah! Oh, boy. Yeah! Ah! My baba broke. And so, with the city safe once again, <laughs> Guppy Girl made Ms. Goo Goo turn everyone back to normal. And then took Ms. Goo Goo and Bun Bun to the Big Bubble City Jail. Thanks, Guppy Girl, Bubble Boy. And thank you, Bubble Baby. You saved the city. Wait a minute. Some of these books don't belong on this shelf. We need your help. We have to find the books that don't belong on this shelf. This shelf is for books about people. Which one of these books doesn't belong here? This one! Right, this is a book about the sun. These other books are about people. Okay, what about this shelf? Which one of these books doesn't belong here? This one! Right! This book is about fruit. All the other books are about animals. Hurry! Put the book back! <gasps> oh no! We forgot one! Kitties, kitties, mm, kitties, kitties. Where's the kitty book? He's looking for that one. Ooh. Where's the kitty book? Enjoy! Kitties! Anytime you want. 
you just gotta bring them back. Thank you! Prepare to dive! Aye, aye, Captain. I, I. Yes, I know. I said I ought. tangled in kelp, especially if you have lots of tentacles. Kelp is a type of seaweed that grows in large underwater forests. We're going in! back in so we can get all the colors back. So the color technician went to put the pipes back in. Last one. Huh? Oh no! It doesn't fit! Look! The green pipe has a shape on the bottom. It has one, two, three, four. Four sides. It's a diamond. We need to figure out where to put this diamond pipe. Let's see. This one is blue, so that's definitely not right. This plug has five sides. It's a pentagon. That's not right either. Hey, I think this might be it. One, two, three, four. Four sides. It's a diamond. Let's try it. We did it. More colors. Oh, come on. That's right. Color Monster was still hungry. This is unacceptable. Hey, Color Monster! Leave those pipes alone! You're drinking up all the color in the world! But they're my favorite colors. Which one? Every color of the rainbow. Rainbow? I have an idea! Hey, Nutters! Activate the emergency rainbow generator! Activate it. Keep him happy. He was happy, and he never bothered the color technicians again. There she is. Hooray! Hooray! Yay! Molly's ship was coming in, but so was Fogzilla. Sorry, 
Bugzilla. You can't blow these lights out. They're electric. <laughs> we did it! I could I, I I couldn't blow the candle out. <laughs> you thought this lighthouse was a candle? Uh-huh. A, a birthday candle. It's my birthday. <laughs> Wait, Fogzilla! It's my birthday too! It is? Uh-huh. Let's celebrate together. I've got a really big birthday cake. Birthday cake! <laughs> Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday, dear Dima! And Fogzilla! <laughs> Happy birthday to you! to get the mixed vegetables. Peas, carrots, and corn! Bus boy, do you smell something? It smells rotten. Rotten, rotten tomato. tomato! I'll get you, Super Waiter! Look out, Super Waiter. Rotten Tomato is about to use his pickle powers. Nonsense, Bus Boy! I... <laughs> And just like that, Super Wetter found himself in a pickle. Oh, no! <laughs> now we'll never get the order to our customer. I can do it, Super Waiter. But you are just bus boy. We'll see about that. To the kitchen! Hmm, the kitchen, eh? Chef, I have an order I need quick. Sure. Peas, carrots, and corn coming right up. Your order will be out in just a moment. Thank you. Is the order ready, Chef? <laughs> Rotten tomato! What have you done with the chef? I'm over here, bus boy. I'm in a pickle, too. <laughs> but, Chef, what about the mixed vegetables? I'll give you mixed vegetables. You'll never find your order now! <laughs> oh no! Rotten Tomato mixed up all the vegetables! I need your help! Which of these bowls has peas, carrots, and corn? Remember, peas are green, carrots are orange, and corn is yellow. Which one has green, orange, and yellow vegetables? That one! That's right! Green peas, orange carrots, and yellow corn. Let's get this to the customer right away. Not so fast, bus boy. Thanks, bus boy. You think you can escape from me? Get a lot of this action. Bus boy, catch! <laughs> Using his superpowers, Bus Boy caught Rotten Tomato in the ketchup bottle. You got me, but I'll get you next time, Bus Boy. If you can catch up. <laughs> to the dining room. And here you are, madam. That looks delicious. You're a super waiter. Nice to meet you. May I cross your bridge, please? Nah, you may not pass, lass. But if I can't cross your bridge, then I can't get to the Rock and Roll Festival. Only those who totally rock may cross my bridge. Oh, well, I rock. Is that so? Uh-huh. Listen, I totally rock. Yeah, I totally rock. I totally rock. I totally... <sighs> 
excuse me. I'm sorry. I mean, you play nicely and all, but you don't totally rock. Now go away before I decide to eat you. Oh, dear. And so, the wee lass ran away. But before long, she ran into another wee lass. Hi. I wouldn't go that way if I were you. The rock mess lobster might eat you. Oh, no! If I can't cross the bridge, then I can't go to the Rock and Roll Festival. He says that only those who totally rock can cross his bridge. Well, I rock. Oh, then come with me. And so, they went back to the Rock Miss Lobster to try again. I totally rock. Well, I totally rock. I totally rock. Mm. <laughs> So the wee lasses ran away again. Hey, girls, what's shaking? The rock mess lobster won't let us cross his bridge unless we totally rock. Really? Well, I totally rock. Take me to this lobster you speak of. And so they went back to try again. You don't give up, do ya? I totally rock. Yeah, I totally rock. I totally rock! Well, what do you think? I think you look delicious. Eek! Hey, wait a minute. We have to get across that bridge. I rock and you rock and you rock. Maybe if we play together, we totally rock. Yeah! Let's play together. Will you help us? Come on! Ready to rock, girls? Totally! Clap with me to help us totally rock. Ready? Great! We totally rock. You lassies totally rock! You may cross my bridge. Thank you! Guppy go! Catch! Guppy girl, look out! Smell you later, Guppy girl! <laughs> <laughs> that gives me an idea. I've got to turn this off. Gotcha. <laughs> Looks like somebody's in a sticky situation. <laughs> 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 Almost full. Nothing can stop me now. Oh, yeah? What? How did you get in here? Ah, uh, it doesn't matter. It's over, Guppy Girl. Any minute now, this cloud's gonna rain stink sauce all over the city. And everyone will be totally stinky. Especially you! <laughs> Guppy Girl, why aren't you moving? Because that's not Guppy Girl! What? Sorry, Sid Fishy. You got the wrong girl. Now, Bubble Boy! Super Bubble! What? Hey! We're trapped! Guppy Girl, put the pump in reverse! Hurry! No! Yeah! No! Hurry, Bubble Boy! Let's get out of here! You're coming with us, Sid!
at Big Bubble City Jail. This stinks. Yoo-hoo! Ogre! Ogre! Hello! Uh, are you? Hello there, sir. Please look into the magic box and we'll make you disappear. I'll make you disappear. Boo! Ah! Hurry! Let's go up the super steep hill! Now I'm chasing you! The hill is too steep! I can't push it much! Ah! Jump! to disappear. Oh, I'm coming back now. Hurry! We have to put it back together again before he comes back. So the two magicians hurried to put their magic box back together. We need to put the pieces of the box back together in the right order. The first side has one star on it. And the second piece has two stars on it. The next piece has three stars on it. We need your help. Which side has four stars on it? There it is! Right, this one. Now which one has five stars? That one! Yeah! Only one side left. It has six stars. <gasps> and look! This side has a mirror on the back. And that's exactly what we're going to use to make the ogre disappear. Oh, I'm coming back now. Hurry! Right, who wants to get yelled at first? Wait, we haven't done our magic trick yet. The disappearing ogre trick. Hmm? Abra Kadima! Look inside, please. <laughs> Don't cry, Ogre. That was only your reflection. We had to make you disappear so you wouldn't scare anyone anymore. <laughs> I don't want to scare anybody. I just want to do magic like you guys. <laughs> Two magicians make the ogre their assistant. Ogre Kadabra! Ta-da! <laughs> Excuse me, Your Majesty. Would you please pass a pretzel? Of course. Thank you. You're welcome. When suddenly. Yummy! It's Pretzel Quaddle! Ancient eater of pretzels! Let's get out of here! I think we lost him. Let's go find a new spot for our picnic. So, the princess and her knight found another spot by the river. This is a nice place for a picnic. Excuse me, princess. May I have a cheese pretzel? Yummy! Pretzel Waddle! He's going to eat Yummy. our... Yummy! And he keeps interrupting us. Yummy! Let's get out of here! Yummy! Austin. Looks like we'll have to have our pretzel picnic inside. So the princess and her knight decided to have their picnic inside the pyramid. Excuse me, knight. Would you please pass the mustard? Here you go, princess. But once again... Yummy! Pretzel quaddle! Gil, would you like a plain pretzel or a cheese pretzel? Yummy! 
What about mustard? Yummy! Excuse me, Pretzel Quaddle, but you're not being very polite. Uh. Pretzel Quaddle needs your help. When someone is busy, but you'd like them to listen to you, what should you say? Excuse me! That's right! Excuse me? Yes, Pretzel Quaddle? Me? I have a pretzel. What's the magic word? Please? That's right, yeah! And so, Pretzel Quaddle learned to use good manners. Yeah, excuse me, Princess. Uh, may I have a yummy pretzel, please? Of course! Um, could you please toss it to me? I don't have hands. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see the abominable snowman anywhere. More! Ah! Let's get out of here! That was a close one. Look out! Ah! Whoa! Look at that! That's a lot of marshmallow frosting. Quick, let's fill up the truck. And so the Marshmallow Patrol got ready to fill up their truck with marshmallow frosting. Okay, ready! It takes 10 seconds to fill the truck. Watch the timer and count backwards down from ten with us. When we get to one, say stop. Ten, nine, nine eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, stop! The truck is full. All right, let's get out of here. But guess who came back again? Mine. Ah! Now what do we do? Uh oh. Mine. But we really need it, sir. Why? To cheer someone up. Someone who doesn't like the holidays. <gasps> doesn't like the holidays. Not at all. Not at all. <laughs> That's the saddest thing I've ever heard. He doesn't like the holidays. <laughs> Please don't cry, Mr. Snowman. We're going to use this marshmallow frosting to make him the biggest, most beautiful gingerbread house he's ever seen. Oh, he's going to like that. So the abominable snowman agreed to share the marshmallow frosting and help the Marshmallow Patrol go home. Ready? One, two, three! <laughs> Happy Holidays! Thank you! Goodbye, Snowman! Bye. I will ring the doorbell this time. He will trick or treat there. And so the trick or treaters went to the vampire's neighborhood. Spooky. Totally. I wonder if the ghost is around here. <laughs> oh, phew. It's only you. Oh no. We spilled all our candy. You can tell by the spooky music. Let's get out of here! But wait, where do these extra candies go? I need your help. Each bucket should have four pieces of candy in it. But I have two pieces left. Which bucket needs two more pieces of candy? In here! Yeah, 
Now each bucket has four candies. They all have the same amount. Uh-oh, but here comes the ghost. Let's hide, and when he gets here, we'll jump out and scare him. with us. from the sun, it was freezing cold. <sighs> we can't stay here or we'll turn into ice. <laughs> He's back. We've got to find another planet to hide on and quick. There are three planets that are closer to the sun to choose from. Venus, Earth, and Mars. We need your help. Which of these three planets do you think we should hide on? Venus? Earth? Or Mars? Which planet? That one. Earth. Right. Earth looks just right. <laughs> Quick, let's hide on Earth. Sorry. So the aliens went to hide on planet Earth. <laughs> I think we lost them. Oh, Earth is such a beautiful planet. <sighs> the perfect place for our nap. But just as they were getting comfortable... Oh, no! The space monster found us! I've had just about enough of this! Hey, space monster, what's the problem? Can't a space alien take a nap? He sure is cranky. Maybe he needs a nap. Is that it? Do you need a nap? <laughs> Una, please get out the space blankies. And so, the space aliens and the space monster took a nice nap on the beautiful planet Earth. And they all napped happily ever after. You can ask your parents to subscribe to Nick Jr.'s Bubble Guppies YouTube channel for new videos every week and watch full episodes on the Nickelodeon and Nick Jr. channel.